Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am the Budgeting Esthetician and today I'm going to be doing a cash stuffing for my second paycheck of August, which I received on the 25th. If you are new to my channel, I am 26 years old. I work at the front desk of a spa, hoping to be an esthetician there eventually, hopefully sometime in the near future. But in the meantime, I am trying to budget my money on a low income. I do cashless cash stuffing. If you are wondering, these are prop bills over here. I've gone over in previous videos of mine why I prefer this method over real cash stuffing. I did start with real cash stuffing and I recommend everybody else does as well. But yeah, I'm just to a point where I prefer doing it this way and reaping the benefits of using credit cards and then paying them off every single time that I get paid. I want to say a couple things before we get started. Um, number one, you might notice my setup is different here. I am one of those girls that is like way too excited for fall and as of filming this it is not even September yet still but I consider fall to be starting on the 24th which is when Starbucks comes out with their pumpkin flavored drinks. It's my favorite season, my favorite time of year so I not only wanted to do a refresh of my kind of candle here, this is a pumpkin scented candle as well as I've got a little um, pumpkin kind of decoration over here off to the side. It would actually be a great um, coin jar but um, I don't use coins and then I decided to kind of rearrange my cash and stuff I like having that on my right side because I tend to I'm right-handed so I tend to grab it with my right hand and it just felt a little bit awkward reaching like across my desk for it and I just feel like this setup looks a little bit just more open and yeah I don't know let me know what you guys think if you agree but I don't know I just I like the setup better I think anyways so that was number one and the number two is I did skip my unstuffing for my last pay period um, and I will not be filming that video this month has just been I think I said my last video has been just a little bit off and um, the week I was supposed to film that I was just not feeling the best and just I, yeah I don't know not really feeling up to filming I just pulled out obviously my money for my um, bills and my variable expenses as I always do and then I pulled from a couple sinking funds which I'll kind of try to point out as we go through. So anyways without further ado um, let's just go ahead and get right into the stuffing today. So today's um, stuffing is just with my full-time income um, which is $861 this time so that's just my hourly pay and then um, cash back is the cash back that I earn on my credit cards using those and that is $12 this paycheck bringing us up to a total of $873 of income and um, I overspent my last um, pay period so we actually have to add to my cushion fund today um, rather than take away from it to add to this stuffing, which is okay. It was only $7. Um, but yes, yeah, so that is all we will be stuffing today. So I should already have all that cash up here. So we are going to go ahead and give this account and make sure that I have the correct amount here, which should be 873. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, 720, 40, 60, 80, 90, 800, 810, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 72, and 3. So perfect. We do have 873 here. So. Yeah, I just really think I'm going to like this new setup. It feels just so much more spacious than my old one. Because um, I just filmed these videos on my little nightstand that I have in my room. Um, that I just turned into my filming setup. So, yeah. Okay. Alrighty, so now that we know we have the correct amount of cash... We are just going to get started in my expenses and savings binder as always. All 
All right, so starting out in my bills category here, um, this includes all of my monthly bills except for any debt, which right now I am just paying um, on one Sally Mae student loan um, for that. So all the rest of this, my rent, phone, car insurance, gym, iCloud, storage, Netflix, and YouTube premium, all equal out to $226. So that is what we are stuffing in here today. Just that way I can kind of condense all of that together. And this one back here. Alrighty, so now in bills, I have one, two, three hundred, three fifty, seventy, ninety, five, ninety-seven, and ninety-eight. Three hundred and ninety-eight dollars in bills. Okay, debt is getting fifty today, which is just a fifty dollar bill. And that is all that that has currently. This is not due again until the 13th of September. And we will be stuffing again before then. And then we are going up to my variable expenses after all of my fixed expenses there. So gas gets its normal 25 today. Groceries gets its normal 250. One, two, 250. And spending gets its normal 100. All right, moving along to our savings. My cushion, like I said, is going to get that $7 to bring it back up to my goal of, of $3.75. So it is getting a five and then this two. And now in cushion, I have one, two, 253, 320, 40, 50, 65, 70, two, four, and five. So that is correct. We do have 375 in there. I'm probably gonna make this video pretty quick and not overly chatty because my last video was pretty chatty. Okay, savings is with my $500 savings challenge that I have right up here from Mary Plans. So today we are going to be adding a sum total of $40, but I broke that down into a 25 and a 15 to mark off on the challenge here because there are no 40s on this challenge. So let's see, let me find, where is the 25? Why, there we go, there's one right there. So I'm gonna mark off this 25 right here and then a 15, let's do this one at the top. And then um, how I broke that down in my bills here is in a 25 and a 15. So 25 and then 15. So let's make sure this is 40, 20, 35, 40, perfect. And then we'll add that in here. And now this should have 260 in it. One, two, 20, 30, 45, 55, 60, 260 in savings. Perfect, so we are all finished with my expenses and savings binder. Moving right along to our sinking funds. We are starting off in my long-term sinking funds binder. And annual bills is getting its last $5 today, reaching its goal of 100. So that has 50, 70, 95, 100. Perfect, that's gonna be a satisfying condensing. Business is not getting stuffed today, but it should have $10, and it does. All right. Car is also not getting stuffed today. This will only be getting stuffed with my paychecks that have my bonus um, on them because I 
like to be able to put a full 100 in here because I'm doing a savings challenge right now for that. So that's not getting anything today, but home is getting 50 and we are doing a savings challenge for that, which is this $5,000 savings challenge from Minimalistic Budget. And I don't think I said it earlier, but the budget booklet that I use here on my iPad, as well as any of these items that are from an Etsy shop, I will have linked down below. Um, but yes, let's see. So we are just going to find a 50 here. And that's just going to be a $50 bill. And home should now have 350 after this. I'm so excited. So we just started this challenge in June, I believe for anybody who's wondering. So we've been stuffing it for three months now and we are at 350 already, which is so amazing. So 100, 200, 250, 300, 320, 45, 47, 49, and 50. Perfect. And the envelope that this is in is from intentional living and the medical is getting its normal $25 today. So 20 and a five. And it should now have 195, 120, 40, 60, 85, 95. It sure does. Pet care is not getting anything today. I do not have a pet. Um, for anybody who is wondering, that is for a future pet, but it is just not a priority right now. And then travel should have, have 50, 20, 45, and 50 but it is not getting stuffed today. This also right now is only getting stuffed with my bonus cash stuffings, but that will change here soon. So that is everything for my long-term sinking funds. We are finishing off in my short-term sinking funds binder, which I stuff with smaller amounts. So Adventures, Adventures is getting a five today. And now that has 25 and 30. Um, clothing, clothing is getting 15. And this one is one that I spent out of um, to buy some new pajamas. So um, that just now has 10, 15 and 20 in clothing. Giving, giving is also getting 15 today. So now giving has 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, and 60. Holidays is getting five. It has 25 and 30. Household is also getting five and that now has 10, 15 and 20. I do need something out of household though soon. I can't remember what it is, but some of that will be gone soon. Okay, miscellaneous is not getting stuffed at all today, but it has 50, 75 that is going to be going towards my debt here soon actually. And then Pamper is getting 50 today and that's the last of our money. And this is the other one that I spent out of. I got my hair done, as I think I actually said in my last cash stuffing, but we pulled that out in the unstuffing that I just didn't film for you guys. And then I also got, oh, I also got a pedicure as well. So now after that 50, Pamper has 1, 2, 50, 70, 85, 285 in Pamper. Okay, and that does it, you guys, for this stuffing video. Um, it was just pretty straightforward today. For my next video, I'm kind of thinking what I'm going to do since I think I'm behind on this month's videos. Um, I'm going to probably do what I did last month and like condense my 
bill exchange video and my unstuffing for this pay period. Um, we'll just see. I'll just have to see what happens. But um, yeah, I think that about wraps up this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for that next video. And thank you so much to anybody who has liked my past videos and subscribed to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Our next goal is 75 subscribers. And I believe at the time of filming this, we are at around 65. Um, so yes, please um, like, comment, and subscribe if you would. Let me know if you guys are as excited about fall as I am. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day today and your week until I see you next time. And I will see you guys later. Mm -hmm.